The relation between decibels and hertz. The vibrating bodies create waves of energy that change the pressure of the surrounding air. The human ear picks up these pressure changes and our brain recognizes them as right waves. Energy waves produce alternating positive and negative changes in air pressure. They are known as oscillations, which can be measured in hertz and decibels. Sound frequencies When an object vibrates, positive and negative pressure alternately creates a wave, also known as oscillation. Full oscillation is measured at the frequency of waves per second. Hertz is the standard measurement unit used to calculate the frequency of these oscillations in the event of one fluctuation in one second. The frequency is indicated as one hertz. When 500 fluctuations occur in one second, the frequency is indicated at 500 hertz. A normal and healthy person can hear sounds ranging from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Pressure changes. Humans hear vibrating energy or changes in air pressure as a sound, and the discount is seen as higher or quieter depending on how much air pressure is caused by the vibrating object. This pressure changes regularly and dissipates to the listener as the distance from the source increases. Air pressure changes can also be measured in Pascal units. However, given that these numbers are often very large and difficult to work with, the decibel is now being used more widely. A normal and healthy person can detect sounds with a yellow decibel level, but a person with a really good hearing can discover the sound at 5 decibel. The volume perceived by the ear depends on the level of sound pressure and pitch. It is easier for a person's ear to discover specific frequencies of a tone. Hertz and Decibel The relation between hertz and decibels allows the listener to measure the frequency and loud sound of any sound. The vibration frequency or amount of vibration is measured in hertz. The resulting change in air pressure from the vibrating body is measured in decibels. Decibels actually measure loudness. Hertz measures the sound frequency. Animals with a strong hearing Many animals have a strong sense of hearing. Each has its own style. The owl is one of the birds that listens well. Their ears are located at two slightly different heights, above and below their eyes, which helps the owl to determine the source of sound accurately. Bats and dolphins also have a system for sonar inside. They find their way in the dark or murky water. It emits ultrasound and resonates after bouncing off objects in its surroundings. Bats can hunt for an insect in a 20 meter radius. Also, dolphins can monitor a tiny object, for example, a coin at a distance of more than 70 meters. Elephants are also characterized by a strong sense of hearing, as they can capture very low sounds. They also use their hose and feet, which have special receptors on them to capture low-frequency vibrations. Pigeons have the ability to hear low frequencies, which explains their unique ability to feel directions. They feel the thunderstorms and earthquake activities hundreds of miles away. As for cats, they can move their ears in all directions, it can also move them together in two different directions. And with the unique design of its ears, the sound enters directly into its middle ear without great distraction, which enables it to distinguish the nature of the sound and determine its source with great accuracy.
What can we hear? Decibels. Volume. Normal speech. 60 decibels. Library. 40 decibels. Close whisper. 20 decibels. Jet engine. 140 decibels. Loud rock music. 110 decibels. Subway train. 100 decibels. Busy street traffic. 70 decibels. 120 decibels or above usually causes pain to the ear. Hertz. Pitch. Young people can hear frequencies between 20 to 20,000 hertz. Dogs can hear frequencies that range from 67 to 45,000 hertz. As you age, your ability to hear high-frequency sound decreases. <laughs>